Hello, nerds. This episode is from Dink Denver. This is uh, the the panel uh, all about social media and its effects on independent art and independent comic books more specifically. This is from the main panel room in Dink Denver and yeah it was pretty interesting. I didn't get the entire panel. I think I got everything except for the Q&A at the end. So you get all the information uh, just not the question and answers. I had to step out a little bit early because I had to get ready for the Joe Kelly interview which has already gone up so Check out this panel from Dink Denver. Uh, but uh, I tend to 
veer off into just whatever I feel like, so I, I don't know why, why people read it. <laughs>
bird right there. Well, what we really want to talk about today is the, the role of social media in your guys' business And I think we'll start just kind of going down the road and we'll jump in there. Also, instead of having a QA at the very end, which we'll still do, if anyone has a pertinent question of what they're talking about, just do a quick little hands and I'll work it in when there's a good spot for it. Um, but my first question, just a super easy, knowing like all the content that you guys are creating, do you have a favorite social event? If you have this, like, split out of just one, but one place to read by your copies. Um, mine used to be Facebook, but the Facebook makes it very difficult now. Uh, so I would say until Facebook messes up Instagram, it's Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that sounds like some kind of, like, a relationship. It's like, you're, you're making it difficult. <laughs> you're making it difficult for me to love you. <laughs> Me and Facebook used to have a thing too, and uh, yes! <laughs> so we're, uh, we're working out some <laughs> you know, Yeah, um, yeah. Facebook used to be uh, the, the where I mean that my audience used to be older because they have kids, whatever. Uh, so Facebook is kind of was a place for me, and then they've since I, I don't know. Who, you know, like Zuckerberg behind the scenes, whatever, pulling the switches. Like, if I, back in the day, if uh, the cartoon did well, I'd be like, oh, 40,000 likes, that's pretty cool. And uh, now it's like, I got like 20 likes, yay! It just like it's been throttled and now it, it barely goes out to anybody. Now. So Instagram is also better for me until they screw that up. So. Uh, yeah, I guess this is kind of an original, but I like Instagram a lot too. Um, <laughs> I, I find that it's it's very high compared to other platforms. Like there's a lot of people participate, a lot of people get into arguments with each other in the comments and then I can just watch watch that unfold. Right? Um, and uh, and, and, and uh, I don't know, there's just a lot of uh, a lot of engagement. I, I don't really like that word. It's a very like marketing -y word, but it, I mean that's the word for it. Like the audience engages with you a lot on Instagram. Yeah. So actually, let's let's come back this way and talk about the, the comment section. The comment section is something that's either wonderful, they love you, or it's crazy you're out of it. They hate you. So do, do you read the comments? I know the one thing that they say is when you reach a certain point, don't read the comments. Do you still find yourself Read all of them? Do you like to jump in and respond? Tell you when you have something that has hundreds of, you know, thousands of comments, you dig in. And I'm going to start with you, Shane, because you had a wonderful relationship with comments. Semi recently. Um, wait, wait, which, what someone recently? Well, I was, I was referring to the one with the bike. And yes, I read yeah, the bike online. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, okay, yeah, the, the com I read the comments. Uh, Every single one, for me. <laughs> and all of them affect me on a deep emotional level. <laughs> so it's not your fault. That's what he said. <laughs> uh, and and if there are if there are like six hundred positive comments and one that's like, eh, it's not that funny. That's that's the one that will keep me up. <laughs> that's that's the knife that will finish me right there. Um, uh, yeah, uh, comments are very like. They kind of, they're, kind of, they're kind of weird in the sense that um, you're okay at first, right? You're just an okay person. This, this is another relationship allegory almost, right? You're just an okay person, and then they give you all of this love and validation, and you're just like, you could never take that away now. You know, <laughs> if you take that away now, I will never forgive you. <laughs> so it's a... Uh, it's kind of like that with the comments, where it's where it's like, yeah, I, I read them. Maybe it's a bit of a vice to kind of become dependent on them. But the, but the other good part of it is you can actually gauge how people are responding to a certain thing, and like adjust course based on that, right? Um, like uh, maybe people aren't liking something, and you have to think about how you're executing it. Maybe like make things a little bit clearer. Uh, you know, things like that. Uh, so they're, they're actually very helpful in terms of like growing as an artist, too. Yeah, yeah same, same question you uh, Yeah, I, I scan the comments, you know, like, and if there's, uh, and everyone, people are going to get offended or upset about whatever I was speaking somewhere earlier about, uh, you know, 
relatively non, or at least you know, non-controversial things like, uh, like I did a, a cartoon where I said bad things about Nazis. Like too soon, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> and people were, and people were just like, and, and people were just getting upset. And then it's, I'm like, oh god, it, or it, it just it feels disheartening. But luckily, uh, I, I've gotten to a point now where I have enough people who like my stuff that will argue for me, kind of thing. Yeah. So they just kind of like, play amongst yourselves, whatever. It's <laughs> and so it's, uh, so that that works out for the most part. But like what Jen was saying, especially in the beginning, um, it's good to if you're uh, trying to figure out what's connecting or not. It's, it can be a good way to judge. So I used to be a lot more. Inclined to read every damn thing, but now I'm just like, yeah, general gist of whatever. And if somebody gets really upset, sometimes I'll jump in and be you know, like, well, I thought Nazis were bad. <laughs> With whatever, like, you know, things you know. So, um, but uh, for the most part, I just kind of like stay clear. Whatever, so. yeah. uh, I agree, it's a really good way to learn, especially early on. And, uh, and I, also the way the comments affect you are uh, ridiculously uh, a deep level, like it doesn't make any sense, but um, I, I read a lot less than I used to. Um, I, there was one comment that I think kind of changed my mind on things, where I had, I had a comment where Greg was just saying, we need to do laundry, and Kurt said, we're just going to buy new clothes. And I thought, ah, oh, it's just, you know, like, Kurt's just being lazy and he doesn't want to do laundry. Uh, but there was this one comment, one of the top comments, and it was like, this is why humans don't belong on Earth. <laughs> 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 no, what is uh, So I was a little taken off guard by that. Uh, but it was like, you know, people were kind of agreeing with that person, you know, it was an environmental question. And uh, it wasn't really what I was going for, but I didn't have enough time in the one cup comment to talk about doing his clothes. <laughs> so um, I do find that people will like extrapolate from one comic that like that you're a terrible leaf system. <laughs> it's kind of a thing. But it's a really good motivation to not get too involved in the comments as well because people sometimes just like be really angry. Um, I think with the, the video medical comment, the comic I'll I'll try to read the comment. Uh, I'm very scared to read them, but I will read them to make sure because uh, I'll get called out if I'm even a little bit wrong. Um, even if it's a gray area, uh, there'll be a whole discussion. Um, but yeah, I, I try to just skim out and read top comments for the most part. Do, do you have in mind what like the perfect comment would be? So you have an entire audience that could be in the comment section and well, now, they love the comments. So what was the perfect comment, like something that keeps you going or hopefully you have to sleep at night, Jim? <laughs> Is there like a good, then you're just like, oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Oh, man. Uh, usually, okay, it, this is usually in the, in the form of uh, messages, more so than the comments, right? Um, but I consider those similar types of feedback in a way it's more private, one's more public, right? Um, but when somebody says that, uh, the comics kind of help them through something, like a tough time or something, that's probably the best thing to receive, you know? Because then, cause then it's just like, uh, like, what, like, nothing else, like, at that point, like, people can hate all they want, right? Because uh, it's just like, yeah, no, screw you, I hope. <laughs> I, I hope. Um, uh, so that's, that's probably the best. Uh, what about you, Ryan? Uh, sorry. No, no, Brian. Yes, no, no, I don't even talk. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I'm just gonna uh, second that. It's the same for me. Like especially if I'm getting to the point where I'm like, why am I doing this? Everybody hates me, and like that one kind of will change course and like keeps me going. Yeah, it's definitely the uh, the more personal messages. You know, it's you know, it, it's lovely to see the LOLs and the whatever people like, oh, this is like, whatever, and I believe this, and that's all cool, but then every once in a while, like, you get the personal message, like, you know, I was going to throw myself out a window, and then you're coming to me up, and whatever. Like, so, like, so that's like, that one. But, but the, the other one, I almost equally as much is I love unhinged crazy people. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> just, uh, and I spoke about 
about this before where like you just hate my stuff so much and like instead of looking at the one of dozens of other web pages, uh very <laughs> other <laughs> will like hate read my comic and will like, <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> 